In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about using the Andrews University template that's on the leadership page and some little tips and tricks with headings and table of contents that will save you time and energy. All right, so to get started with the Andrews uh, uh, template, go to the leadership website and download it off of the participants section. At the moment, it's under dissertation, but in the future, it may be in a different place. So look around, and if you have trouble finding it, you can always ask someone. All right, once you open that template, you will see basically this. And let me make this so you can see it a little better. And we have a title page, a table of contents, an abbreviations list, and sample headings, etc. So what you want to do first is probably you aren't starting writing here in uh, the template. You probably already have some text written. So one of the things you want to do is make sure when that comes over it's not using its old style information, it's using the new styles that are here in the template. So let me go get some text. Here's a little paragraph I had written before and I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to go up to edit and copy and now I'm going to switch over to my new document and here's my introductory paragraph. I'm going to go up to edit and paste. And notice that this came in obviously incorrectly. Now before you do anything else, go to this paste options. Let me just scroll down a little. Whoops, now I lost it already. See, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to resize this so you can see it a little better. I'm going to do undo all right, let's paste again. Edit, paste, and before you change anything, click this menu and choose Keep Text Only, which you can't see, but it's there. And it appears that even though I thought that was going to work properly, it didn't. So now's the time for you to learn about these styles up here. This file has in it several important um, styles that you need. One is the heading, a heading that's not in the table of contents, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, you'll probably end up using those, and body text. We want to be using body text. So I'm just going to click that and look, now it's all correct. Here's my body text set up correctly. Alright, now you'll notice one of the things that is necessary is three lines between here, but you don't want to do this manually because honestly it's really a pain. And I'm going to show you in a little bit why there's another reason why you want to do this. So let's say I write my next paragraph and it's really amazing and I wrote a lot. Let me make it look like a paragraph. Alright, and now I'm ready to go, I'm ready to have this next section be a new heading and I don't want it to be this one that's already in here I want to write my own so here's my heading and then my new paragraph and underneath it alright so now I need to fix this heading now I could just bold and center it but don't do that resist the temptation instead go up here to body text or whatever's showing in your uh, styles pull down menu could be whatever you use last and I want to go down to heading 2 now it has the correct heading alright so that is how to make a new heading and mark it now I want to talk a little bit about the table of contents so we're gonna go back to Word and we'll scroll up in this little template here and in the table of contents it's already set up with all these different things I just added a new a new uh, heading in between these so what I want to do is I'm going to click on this whole area see how it hides the highlights because that tells you there's something special about it and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do update field and I'm going to say update the whole thing and look at this here comes my new heading automatically so that's the other reason you want to use that heading style because it marks it not only not only does it automatically make it bold centered and give you the three lines behind it automatically it also puts it in the table of contents so really important that you use these headings these styles 
me just show you again a little more these styles right up here for any of your headings and they're set up in the order that they're supposed to be in APA and Andrews format this heading then the next one then the next one then the next one this will save you a lot of time and grief alright next we want to talk about formatting chapter headings in the template you'll find that these chapters already have information in it and they already are marked with heading one now it's going to be really tempting for you to say this is my amazing chapter two and because I type those all lowercase because it's our automatically coming in uppercase it seems like oh it's fine so let me just I'm gonna do control s to save and I'm gonna scroll up I'm gonna scroll up to my table of contents and I'm gonna refresh it or update field I just right clicked on it and I'm choosing update field and look at this this is my amazing chapter 2 look how it showed up lowercase and that's because I typed it lowercase even though it was correct in the heading um, it doesn't come in here right so when you type it don't forget this as you're typing this I'm going to retype it now I'm holding down my shift or I could do caps lock to type this in all caps and then now I'm going to go back up I saved it so it's thinking <laughs> and I'm going to go back up to my table of contents and I'm going to right click and update field and look now it's all capitals like it's supposed to be so when you type those titles for your chapters using this template make sure that you actually type it in all caps even though you can't really tell the difference when you're typing it on the chapter page make sure it's all caps so that it comes in correctly into your table of contents alright another thing that you can have issues with is widows and orphans and there's some little tricks for dealing with that so actually let me go into my proposal because it has more text in it and let me scroll down I don't think I have any that are actually an issue so this might not work but um, a widow and an orphan is when this line here goes let's say purpose of study is on the page before and then this line here let me do a control enter so you can see the difference that doesn't work either but you get the idea <laughs> okay so let's say there's a page break right here and I want to keep these together sometimes they'll stay together automatically but other times you might have to actually make them stay together and the way you can do this is by highlighting the heading and a little bit of the text and then right click and choose paragraph and if it's not already on this tab switch to the lines and page breaks and I usually check keep lines together and keep with next both just to keep everything together and now those will stay together and you can't tell the difference because they're not split apart let me try this again in the template so you can see what it does okay so I'm writing away in here let me get rid of this paragraph which will make this heading looks like it is keeping together automatically I think the template has something in it that does it so generally this shouldn't be an issue but if you do have to fix it again you just highlight it and choose paragraph and then add this keep lines together if you need to alright now one last thing that I didn't even have on my PowerPoint but that is this bibliography actually isn't in the Andrews format so the very last thing you do you may have to change this a little there's supposed to be a line in between here um, so get out the Andrews manual and check this over but do it as the very last thing you do because now I've put this line in here if I need to update this field again I'm gonna update the whole thing notice my line goes away so at the very very last thing you do um, just adjust the the spacing a little bit here other than that this table of contents feature is just wonderful and will save you lots of time and headaches so that's how to use the Andrews template